Okay, welcome back to Full Throttle Remastered. We've got a bunch of rabbits. And we've got a minefield for them to go across. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them down one at a time. And use them to clear a path. So I can walk out... No. I can walk out there now. And put the next rabbit down. Walk a little further. Put the next rabbit down. Rinse and repeat until you've made it through the minefield. I just keep doing this until we're done. I don't want to set off any of these boys. Well, yeah, actually you do. You just don't want to be the one that's setting them off directly. I don't want to set off any of these boys. And here we are. That's the guy I was telling you about, Susie. You sure? Yeah. That's the guy who killed my father. All right, so she does think Ben killed him. Dad. Let's rip him quick. Listen, Mo. You're making a big mistake. Oh, Ben. You're right. We shouldn't do this quickly. We should draw this out, don't you think, Susie? Hey, I got all night. You heard her, kids. Let's draw this out. Your father. Don't you dare talk about my father, you heartless bastard. Let me go, or else... Or else what? I'll sick the polecats on you. The polecats are in jail, Ben. You put them there, remember? Malcolm once. I said shut up about my dad. Corley and I. I said shut up about my dad. I'm innocent. You're in something, all right. I'm losing my temper, Marine. Hey, you're about to lose much more. Okay, that's enough. Mm, not quite. <clears throat> Okay, so these three don't do anything, so go, it's going to be one of the right. options under here. I'll tear this place apart. Ironic choice of words, Ben. <clears throat> Let me go, or else... Or else what? I'll get blood all over your driveway. That's good for the landscaping, actually. Let me go, or else... Or else what? I'll call, I'll you call your names. Your names. <laughs> like what? Oh. Well, here's an interesting thing. Remember what Coralie said that he used to call her when she was a little girl? Diaper Dynamo. How? How'd you hear that name? Your father. He told me just before he died. You bludgeoned <coughs> my father and then talked about old times? I didn't kill him. Rip Berger did. A photographer took pictures, but her camera was stolen by the same thug that came after you. I, I still have that role. Well, develop so it. So she's got the role still of film. Fit in my clothes. Okay, you stay here. Hey. <clears throat> you stay here. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. Sorry. Yeah. Well, don't sweat it. I'm gonna get Rip Burger even if I die trying. No, we have to expose Rip Burger at the shareholders meeting. That way, we take him down, we save my gang, and your father gets his dying wish. You take over Corley Motors. Rip Burger canceled the shareholders meeting. He made a statement to the press that there'd be no meeting until the murderers were brought to justice. So, 
No shareholders meeting until we're both dead. Hmm. That could be arranged. Okay, so here we go. Faking Ben and Maureen's death. Act one, scene one. Adrian Ripberger, in a desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. First prize at tonight's smash-up derby is a vintage hardtail that Mo restored with her dad. Rip hopes Mo will try to nab said bike on account of her sentimental attachment to it. So Ben and Mo play along, put on disguises, and enter the demolition derby which ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Uh, question. Please save your questions until the end. Now, the explosives in Moe's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Moe clear of the explosion and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her rejecting out of her car? No, they'll all be watching you running around on fire. Yeah, that's another question I have. When your car explodes, you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience. In your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> that's some plan. All right, then. Let's go blow you little darlings up. All right, folks. Okay, so and now we have another kind of annoying bit. It's not quite as annoying as the mine road fight. The unknown Avenger. <laughs> now I'm just embarrassed for them. Who do they think they're fooling with those ludicrous disguises? And next to him is another masked newcomer. Please give a big smashatorium salute to the princess of Pile-Up, Doreen Schmorley. And finally, we have a last minute addition to the lineup tonight. A deadly looking team known as the Boom Boom Brothers. Guess who? Alright now, are you ready to see some reckless driving? Are you ready to see some unnecessarily violent destruction? Then let the demolition derby begin. Okay, so now... Are you Ben? Hang on, Mo. Here I come. So... I'm in the red car. Bounced off the roof. Looks yeah. like these babies have a glass jaw. So now what I gotta do is I gotta get this car over here. What are you doing? Get I'm over here following the plan. Not much of a smash up derby where I'm the only thing that smashed into somebody. So there's a reason I'm shoving this guy over here. Now if I had spent if I hadn't done this right away, this car would have uh, unstalled. But now I'm gonna. Okay, boom, boom, brothers, it's all over. So I land on top of them, stall them. What are you doing? Are you taking a nap? Idiots. 
Okay, Mo. Time for our Here big we go. finale. Do it. Now that's an explosion, ladies and gentlemen. Can't see any survivors. Wait, what's that? It's the unknown Avenger, and he's on fire. Let's give him a hand, folks. That looks painful. We really should put him out right away, but what a show, huh? I guess the Avenger never heard of stop, drop, and roll, huh? Let's get out of here. That's the way out, but I can't get through that. That's the way out, but I can't get through that door. Oh, I set the place on fire now. That's one way to empty the joint out. And they get the bike. Finally. Now, squish that firefly while he's hot. <laughs> Look at him run. Look at him run again, huh? Drive away. I can't go out there. Watch this. Oh. Can I go over here? Nope. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to get away from them somehow. But how to do that? Bunny down. So how do I get past this guy? Well, I don't really have any inventory. something else. Yeah, I actually can't remember how to get through here. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to figure it out. No, I didn't do it. Oh yeah, that's right. You jump on their car. Hey, wait till you come over here. And you run over here into the fire. Because you've got an asbestos suit, you can survive inside the flames. They, however, cannot. What happened? Did you get him? We finally got him, Bolas. That means Ripburger has to make us vice presidents now, like he promised, and give us 10,000 shares of stock each. Oh, really? Hmm. Funny smell. Funny What's smell? That? What is that smell? Uh-oh. Well, on the bright side, I just made 20,000 shares of stock. Time to start the shareholders meeting. Meanwhile, Ardale? back at the ranch. All over the floor, Mr. Avenger. What? What happened to your deep sentimental attachment to your father's vintage bike? 
Ben, it's just a bike. I can put it back together in about a half an hour. That's assuming, of course, I can find that key. Oh, really? A key, huh? What key are you talking about? Key to my dad's safe. I remember he hid it somewhere on this bike. But I've looked everywhere and I can't find anything that even looks like a key. What's in the safe that's so important? My dad's will. I'm counting on him to tell the truth about me, finally. Why did he keep you a secret all these years? He didn't want people to find out about my mom. What's so bad about Mrs. Corley? She wasn't my mom. Huh. Yeah. But how are we going to get in the factory? In the back of the factory, there's a secret entrance that leads straight into secret Dad's office. Secret entrance? He used to sneak me in so I could Super help him Super secret his entrance. Office. Another well, one. to do all the work himself? Nah, this is back when I was six. Hmm. How do I find the secret passage? Well, it's tricky. You have to wait for all the utility meters to turn black. Then you kick the wall in just the right spot, and you're in. How do I find the right spot to kick? Dad just knew exactly where to kick it. But I remember that there was this big crack in the wall, and if I lined up that crack with my eye level and kicked the wall right in front of me, this weird portal would open up. Hmm. Weird portal. What if I can't find that spot? Just line up your eyes with the crack, wait for the meters to go black, and kick. That kicking part is pretty vague. Look, I was only six. Give me a break. I'll never find that secret passage. Hey, Ben, can't you see I'm busy? If I could find the spot to kick when I was only six, I'm sure you can find it on your own. How was your flight? Well, there were some explosions during takeoff, and I landed in a minefield. But other than that, it was fine. I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. Uh-huh. Great. Now help me find that key. What are we in, anyway? It's a C-330 Big Mouth Industrial Cargo Jumbo Transport we fixed up. We want to get it rolling so we can take it to biker rallies. You're going to try to fly this thing? Rolling, Ben. Rolling. Hey, this baby's flying days are over, just like mine. So it's a giant airplane, but without wings. Remember that time you tried to kill me? Yeah, we really taught you a lesson. <laughs> Get it? I'll see what I can do. Right. Okay, so now that we've survived the demolition derby, we need to get into the uh, factory through the secret passage. But we also need to find the key. The key that is supposedly somewhere in these motorcycle parts. But she hasn't found anything that looks like a key. Will we be able to help her find it? We'll find out in the next episode. Till then, thank you for watching.